Uh, awesome. Great, 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 great. Uh, yeah, we, um, uh, I'm just opening up my files. I was a bit, uh, rushed, uh, this morning with stuff. I think, uh, last time, well, I actually noted that, like, we were at the point where we're pretty much at the end soon, but there was one thing I realized that I forgot to do. Um, do, do, do. Mo, well, didn't you go to the summit this year? Uh, no, no. It seems that like uh, my pattern is to go every two years. I think that's what it's been for the the last um, two, three times. So uh, probably next year. They made me record a message for uh, for the the event though. Two years noted. Yep. Let's. Uh, Two years Marco over here. Marco, two years bluff. That's who I am. Oh, you sent a message? Okay, cool. I actually haven't checked the stream yet, so I am... I don't know. All right. So, okay. So this is the render that we have. Um, that's what's going to be rendered for every... Uh, for the turnaround, basically. Um, hmm. Oh, I thought I, there there was more. Um... Oh yeah, no, there we go. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. See with the shadows around like the the floor here and everything. Um. So this is going to be the quality for our turnaround. Uh, that's actually the size of it. It's uh bigger than uh. It's a it's a twenty five sixty by fourteen forty. And uh, yeah, so technically I would be ready to uh, render with that, um, at least render the turnaround. But like, I want to find like a cool, a cool couple of angles to, um, yeah, cool couple of angles. That being said, that been said, um, there is no refraction in the eyes. I never really had to do that. Um, so yeah that's the thing i'm kind of like i want to add one thing before we start to f f like figure out like the angles that we want to use so uh, i'm uh, actually going to um oh, i'm going to take note of something here as well Yeah, um, I think I'm just going to do a little, uh, little search. See how if there's there's like a shader that can mimic that really quickly. If I need to physically recreate an uh, an eye, at least with Arnold, I mean. Um, I might have found something here. Just want to double look and double check.
So yeah, <clears throat> what we're um, just to give you an example of what I'm trying to uh, accomplish. Um, so like the eye of the cat here, right? Like the pupil is not like on the very edge of the eye, right? It's kind of like refracting inside, uh, and uh, that's um, that's what I'm looking. Uh, that's what I'm looking to do with um, because like if you look at my character from the side. Uh, it's not what's going to happen, actually. I take, um, oops, it's a little render. Let's not render at nine. Let's just do a render test at one single. Uh, so mo uh, no, it's not guaranteed that every two years. I'm just saying uh, the uh, the tendency seems to be this way. All right. So you see, if I look at it from the side, like the eye is really, really on the outside here, which is. Uh, which is not really uh, what I want. So basically, just have to figure out uh, something that would work well. Yeah, so far there is not really any uh there doesn't seem to be like a shader that does it. Just by itself. Hmm. Oh, am I going to have to recreate it? Like, by myself? Okay, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to recreate this by myself. Uh, that sucks balls. Okay, alright, let's try to do something. Let's open up <clears throat> my memories of how I did eyes in the past. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Um, clone this skin, I refract. Let's hide this skin eyes. Let's do in, uh, inflate. Oh, what's inflate in max again? Wow. Uh, uh push. Yeah, there we go. Wow. It's been a while. It's been a while. Whoops. Or maybe I should not push, maybe I should push the, the refraction. Okay, so this one, push. Whoop, just one. We'll try with just one. Um, but the, I'm going to have to make a modification for the eye though, for sure. I'm gonna have to, um, push it inwards to kind of like flatten it, I think.
And how do I do that if I cannot see the eye? Oh boy. Let's try to do it with just like a vertex push like this. Now, question is, where is the eye? Because I can't see it with the textures because it's U dims. I think I'm going to have to eyeball it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, now that's comedy. That is comedy. I don't care what you think. Uh, this is comedy. Okay, if I push it in, though, it's gonna like look weird under the eyelid, though. Ah, oh, man, this is. Okay, so since I did not really prepare myself correctly for this, I'm going to be really honest. There's a chance I don't even fucking do refraction in the eyes. It would be cool, though, if I can. No one saw that joke coming, huh? Then we got another clown here. <laughs> Uh. Oh, yeah, I need the one on the other side as well. Uh, there's kind of like a... I don't know if you, you can tell, but like you can kind of like see within the polygons. I feel like you can see the eyeball. Like, just if you look at like this row of line right there. Huh, interesting. Really interesting. Okay, so grab these. Now, uh, what I want to do is kind of like grab this part and then stack up on top of that a push modifier. Another one. And that should affect only the... Yeah. It's kind of like making the... Uh, I'm not sure how much this is necessary, which also I don't think it's pushing it enough. Huh? Let's go and change the... It's not smooth enough. Okay. So that's for the, how much the eye is pushed. Um, I'm going to do a, oops, I'm going to render that just to make sure everything's okay. Of course, I'll never zoom to that extent on this uh, piece here. Okay, so we see that the eye is pushed inside. Now I'm going to try to figure out. So. I need like a refract, a ref I need this material like over the eye, like the cornea to uh, refract. And I have never fucking done that. So let's see. Uh, Arnold refraction shader. I hope it's a refraction. Yeah. Index of refraction, that's good. Is it just like a normal material and it's written refraction in it? 
Let's grab this here. Uh, actually, no, why the fuck that? No. It's just starting in uh, standard. There we go. Boop. All right. You. I refract. Assign it. Okay. Um, so. So, 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 so. Special features, this, that. Is there a refraction? Scatter, advanced, extra roughness, disperse, aberration, transmission. <sighs> transmission, is it transmission? Anisotropy. Oh, I, I I just started using anisotropy on my uh, my element like as I'm doing renders for my elemental list right now, and uh, man, I've I, like I've I figured out that like rhythm when you actually do UVs on hair, at least like when they're like fibers, it it always puts it like vertically, so you can absolutely just like use anisotropy after because your UVs are already like set up for it, which is like fantastic. All right. Um, so just like that, I, I don't find the um, refraction. So w w what shader is it? Um, refraction, Arnold, guide, index of refraction, roughness, transmission, opacity, refraction exit. Where is the refraction? Material, Arnold. Two-sided standard hair. Hmm. Matt, layer shader, Lambert. Flip geo carpet. I don't know. I don't know. Mission opacity, coat, cone thermal, coat this, coat that, tangent thermal, sheen, sheen, subsurface, transmission, scatter dispersion, depth color, transmission, specular. Okay, come on. Uses for refraction, yes. Refraction, opacity are similar. Arnold compared to other engine, blah, 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 blah. Arnold has two ways of calculating transparency. Refraction's opacity, they're different ways that these two you know, transparency of the usage of opacity. Using refraction and opacity together. As I explained earlier, it's usually best not to use refraction and opacity together in the same shader. I don't care, I just want to know what's the fucking shader's name. The opacity switch.
Yeah, let's just check out tutorial instead. Okay, I guess. Okay. Okay, so I guess that I might have found the answer. Oh, by the way, hello, uh, voici un all. Um, I guess that it's transmission. But I don't have all the, uh, yeah, I guess it's transmission, but like, is it going to do refraction? Is it like here? It seems that it's like the weight and then he has like, a, yeah, my IOR, there's an actual value for index of refraction, which uh, I don't think I see here. Or maybe it's in somewhere else. Okay, advanced IOR. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and Google seems to say that it's 1.38. Eight for the refraction of the eye. So um, let's try that. Okay, I'm just going to save this image. Uh, my desktop. There, yep. Um, mm -mm -mm. I won, and then, uh, yeah, let's see what this gives. Is there any refraction in this right now? Okay. Yes, there is there is refraction. It's act it's weird. It's actually like pushing it forward. I thought I would push it backwards. What if um I remove the
Yeah, it's pushing it even more on the outside. So what's the difference in between this and just not having the cornea at all? All right, so the refraction really, um... oh, wait, no. Oh. Wow, okay. So the effect is worst with the refraction. Huh. Okay. Internal reflection, indirect, specular transmission, the depth, depth into imp into the volume at which transmission color is realized. What about thin wall? Oops, I'm missing the shader. Okay, so tin wall seems seems to be pushing the eye inward, which is kind of what I want, or a little bit more in the direction that what I'm of what I'm looking for. What if I put the push par parameter back again? Okay, you see with the push parameter, it's actually it's actually creating more of the effect that I want. It's kind of like, but it's done manually. And the problem with that is that it's casting like a, a lot of shadow on um, like the eyelid is casting shadow on the pupil right there, which I'm not super fan of. And by that, I mean not fan at all. Well, at the same time, at the same time, look at that picture here. Oops. You see, like, there's actually, like, shadow going, like, inside of the, on, on the, um, the pupil here. Like, you see, like, the eyelid is here, but it's still a casting. Like, you so, this is actually also a good example to show, like, how, like, the actual, the pupil is not... It's kind of like further behind the cornea. Like the cornea is like what's holding like the eye like in this spherical shape. So I guess I shouldn't be too critical about like the shadow that's falling on the eye. Oh, question is also, I mean, okay, so let's 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 do a bit of research. I cat I um, let's do a, um, a cat scan. <laughs> the cock.
comedy never stops. Uh, cat eye, um, geez, how do you call that? Infrared? No, X-ray? Cat eye, X-ray, top view. Maybe I should write that on mid-journey. Mid ha 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 ha. Okay. No, okay, it's kind of like... Nah, it's not going to work with cat. Uh, I, difference, cornea, and pupil. Did pupil iris? Am I mistaken? Let's get a good image. Okay, all right, so you see it on this here. So basically, like this whole like part of the, yeah, it's it's iris I meant, not pupil. You see it here. So like basically like the, the entire uh, iris uh, section is uh, kind of like on the edge of the sphere, maybe even like it goes a little bit inside as well, near the uh, the, the, the the center part here. So, um, so yeah, it's um, if I really want the effect, like I'm gonna have to replicate this. Also, like maybe I should actually bump the cornea uh, a little bit as well. So we'll just have to find like the proper. Um, I can't bump it too much because, like, I haven't prepared the eye eyelid for that, though. Anyways. But we got this, at least. Also, I'm going to have to just, like, make sure I get, like, a good shader out of that. But at least, like, you get some specularity on the, um... We get some specularity on the cornea, so that's good. It's already that. Okay, let's try to do something. Uh, okay, high refraction. Uh, there's already a push on this, and then I'm gonna add a, a stack of uh, edit mesh. Uh, it seems to be around this part. I'm going to bubble it and then put another push on top and yeah, I see it's like, it takes like a second and then it's like outside of the eye. So it's already like on the very edge. If I push the eye inward also, it might be a bit of a problem. I might have to push the, um, Yeah, I think I don't think this is really gonna matter that much. I'll just turn these at, off. I think I'm even going to. Uh... Yeah, if it's too near the edge, I might put like a push modifier on the eyelid on top to give it a little bit more thickness again. But uh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's start by um. But you see, like I'm wondering, like is a cat pupil like going inwards, like? Let's try this anatomy of cat eye. You see, like, according, like, to this picture, it's pretty flat, the pupil. Here as well. Oh, no. Cat's eye? That's a cat's eye? See, according to this... Okay, so they just have, like, insanely huge eyeballs in there.
Okay, I guess it's... <laughs> wow, I... So, so the eyes, basically according to like that uh, image, the eyeballs of the cats are like big like this inside of their skull. I really thought they just had like huge pupils. Not like insanely big eyeballs. That doesn't make sense. Huh. All right. All right. I um. I really thought. Well, you, when you look at it, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, you know what? I didn't do it correctly on my guy, but uh, that's not going to stop us. Um. But I still have to get some more uh, push on this, I guess. At the point that it's starting to go a little bit like inside, even. I don't like the effect when I augment the uh, the bubble. But maybe I should show end result toggle. Yeah, there we go. It's maybe a bit, a bit too much push. What? 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 Can't, uh, ha, huh, what to do, what to do? I don't know if I should have the inside part of the eye go even more ah no I don't think so I think that according to my understanding this should be okay so as long as I can I can get the color of the eye also to um come out correctly because like right now it's like refracting color and everything plus there's like a double I think I should um, remove the specularity from the eyeball, so I just have it on the cornea. But I think I think I'm on I think I'm onto something actually. By the way, sorry I haven't checked really the chat. Um, I'm just trying to get that thing. Oh yeah, and all my all my stuff for. Uh, my shader were dispersed. There we go. Okay, I no specularity. Boop. Finito. Well, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit. Hey, just to say, I don't live in the extremes. Okay, so there is still specularity here. Does it mean that's crazy? Oh, this uh, shader is not used. Cat eye. Okay. Why wasn't it used? Was it like? Oh, I think it was just like um, leftover from the, the frog scene. All right. All right, so you see now the specularity is off the eye, so that's good. That's good, 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 good. Uh, I'm actually going to set myself a uh, target. Well, I mean, I can just use this as a target. So I want to have like this same quality here. So I'm going to put it on the side here. You guys are not going to see it.
Okay. So also, there's going to be a lot of it coming from the... Um, well, actually, you know what? Let's go and boost the uh, render quality of the transmission because it's really suffering more than the rest. So let's put transmission at two. I guess it's transmission that's going to help with that. So it's going to be make it longer to render uh, the eyeball part. But you see, at least quality is much better of the uh, the eyes. Um, should I put it at three? So it took 10 seconds to render this. Let's see how many seconds it's going to take to render it at one above. Oh, it's a bit longer. Eh? 11 seconds, but it's much better. You see, that's much, much, much better. Um, okay, and now I just want to get that nice reflection on the eye. I'm going to get myself a little kitty picture over here. All right, we're, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I was really not optimistic I was going to be able to do that correctly, but uh, that's cool. All right, so this guy here, you. You. Um, yeah, roughness, like at, what, 0 0.05? I might test also the uh, IO, IOR, the index of refraction, and see if it makes a difference. If I put it like at 0.5 or something. Okay, so it's, that's much more interesting. So, yeah, we can see the, the scene of the character in the eyes. Anyways, I don't want to go crazy on the. Um, don't want to go crazy on the eye shader as well, because at the end of the day, I just want like some refraction. Once again, this is not a piece where like I'm trying to get like the best quality ever for everything, but some sometimes there's some easy stuff to do that helps. So. Um, So I want full transmission. I'm pretty sure I want that. Uh, now I'm just going to test a few like options, see if uh, was that better, was that worse. Uh, I think we're at I5. I5 05. Okay, and uh, let's uh, see what uh, thin walled gives me on and off. My dog is looking at me. There's a big truck in front of the house and doesn't like it. So let's check the difference in between I5 and I6. Um, here. Yeah, like if I don't click thin walled, it. Oh, I I get it. Okay, I think thin walled means that like you actually don't have a double, like, it's not a, a two sided object. It's basically like um, like a geometry that's that's e either watertight or that has no like thickness to it. So I think thin wall just means like, hey, you're gonna have to fake that there's like a. S yeah. Because otherwise, like, see, there's like no refraction if I put it like this, and then I get my refraction if I have thin wall activated. At least that's what I think. 
exit to background. Specify whether to use the environment color for reflection rays when. Okay, never mind that. Um, so yeah, let's just check point five of the uh, in the index of refraction. Just to see for fun what it does. I'm guessing it's going to make it even more like inside of the eye. Will it? Is it? No, more outside actually. Oops, I didn't put it uh, thin walled. Okay. Let's save it under uh, over I six again. Okay, so it's mostly the yeah, it's it's the light. Is how much the light is, which I don't think I need to have more reflection in the eye. So I'll put it back to its initial value. There we go. Okay. So, 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 is there anything else? I, I don't think there's anything else I want to uh, check, but I do want to see like how it looks from the side. Transmission. If I put it, yeah, let's just see what it does if I have less transmission. Let's put it to seven. Yeah, okay, it's just yeah, not making it not making it fully transparent. Wow, and it's a huge difference, eh? Back to one. Okay, and do I want any roughness on the eye or stuff like that? I don't think so. There's no color, so who cares? Um yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Okay, let's see how it um how it looks on the side. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's not turn the camera this way. Let's pivot our scene. All right. Huh. It's, huh. It's very white on the side of the eye here, eh? I'm not sure if that has to do with the refraction or... Um... Yeah, it's a bit white. Maybe it's... Um... Well, actually, you know what? I can, I can know this in a second. Let's just remove the eyeball and re-render. I might have to change the texture a bit. Yeah, okay. 
I'm gonna leave myself alone because that's a bit too white. Uh, white, I, less, white. But that we can actually try to fix with the shaders inside of the thing. Okay, so anyways, let's see how much it refract, refracts the eye. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's weird because the refraction is kind of like pushing the eye. Yeah, I'm going to do something a bit crazy over here. I'm really going to push the eye inside. That's completely nuts. I'm really going to have to... Uh... Ah, you know what? I'll just do it now. Edit mesh. Okay. Oh, gross. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I kind of like feel like I almost need to fix it in the ZBrush. Oh, this is uh, not the most. Okay, so this way it's like less inside of the eye, but I have to relax this entire portion here because it's going bunkers. Whoops. This is a huge waste of time. Okay. This is something I should have really done in advance. Uh, 
Okay, let's try to relax this. Where's the relax button again? Isn't there a relax button here? Or is that only like an editable poly? Oh, don't tell me it's only an editable poly. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do it by hand. I think it's it's going to be like really done dirty, but it's um I think it's still going to work. Just want to remove anything that's kind of like edge. Sorry, uh, something needed my my attention. Okay, so that's that just should fix the this portion of the eyelid. Now there's always like the fact that like the eyelid is on the very edge here. So this is also something else I want to fix. Come on. For that, I'm going to remove the X-ray here. Okay.
That should actually, that should help. Now let's see, oops. I'll insert the ring real quick. Sorry, I haven't checked the chat really much today now. Um, Master Joel, tu n'as pas de travail à proposer? Uh, no, je n'ai pas. Uh, pour moi aussi, non, je n'ai pas. Uh, pas mal, ce petit chat. Ben, merci beaucoup. Hey, yo, Marco, how's some work as usual? Hey, thanks. Thanks for answering late as well. What game do you think is going to be game of the year? Oof, I do not know. A good question, a very good question. Because okay, so just like that, um, that feels good. What if I put it on the side here? Am I gonna have like the pupil effect I'm looking for? Because I've really dug that that pupil in uh, iris. Jeez, iris. Well, I mean, at this point, it's the iris and the pupil. Okay, so that's good because it's really pushed backwards. Like, let's do a test. Like, this is without the cornea. Now, with the cornea. Probably going to be like self evident, but uh, it's without and that's with. So it does push like the eye more like inside and makes it look a little bit more natural. So yeah, I really needed to put it like really outside of the eye for it to. Like this is for me, this is fine. It looks good. I, I like, I wouldn't say that it's kind of like. Um, like the perfect amount or like the perfect method. But I feel like um I feel like it's uh it's giving a, a good effect. Now let's just see like a little bit more like frontal. I'm gonna have to redo like the red the right eye as well. Yeah from the front it looks good as well. Looks good, yep. I don't know if like the thing I did for the eyelid really changes much, but it's really cool. Eh? I, you know what? I, I I'm re really happy I did that. It does add a little something um, very cool to the character. So uh, yeah, let's just um, yeah, let's just do the same thing for the. Uh, For this part here, I'll start by doing the exterior of the high lid ear. Come on, there we go. By the way, right now the soundtrack I'm listening to, it's old school band I used to listen to when I was a kid, well a kid, a teen, it's Children of Bodom, like a, f a Finnish band, like Euro Trash Metal, I always liked that, no oh, there's some, like, I, I, there's some, like there's some things about it that I'm like, okay, I, it's not exactly like my style anymore, but I, once in a while I just go back to it and uh, I really appreciate it. 
I've never fully outgrown it. It always provides me that uh, pretty much the same amount of joy from before. Okay, now for the inside part of the eye, I'm trying to give, give it some uh, So this is really like a cheat I'm doing right now, but uh, you no, know it seems to be working. So let's go for it. Uh, yeah, let's put this mesh in transparency. Okay, let's grab all of the vertices on the side. It's really easy to grab the ones uh, like behind. Come on. All right, let's push that. Oh, here it's going too far. All right, let's get rid of the extra. Yeah, normally I would have used the uh, the relax um, feature, but uh, yeah, I think it's just an editable poly, so. Uh... Okay, I think that should be all right. Let's do uh, the ultimate test. Oh, wait, there's a bit of an issue right there. Okay. Final test for the eyes. Cool.
Actually, no, that's not the angle I want to do it at. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right, that's going to be acceptable. It's not exactly on the target that I wanted, but it's, um, I'm talking about the refraction mostly, but it's uh, going to be all right. Yep. Let's do another one where it's really on the side. Lastly, I'll be fixing the, um, I'll be fixing the white of the eye. Yeah. And I'll be done. Actually, you know what? And I'll be done for, for today. It would have been, the, it would have taken the entire stream to, um, to make the eyes. Next stream, we'll just like find like the right angle and prepare the scene for render and it'll be uh, done, completely done afterwards. Uh, so yeah, let's just fix the eyes. Anyways, I have to, I have a meeting that's coming. So uh, let's do that quickly, quickly. Let's render this. I'm wondering if uh, it sh it w it's going to be easier to just like do it in Painter. I'm think I'm just going to open Painter and do it because uh, starting to play with like the shader and get like the the right contrast to keep the 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 color of the pupil all right, but fix just the white part is just going to be a pain. So um. All right, let's go in the skin shader. Holy shit, finally caught you live. Well, fair FGC. What's up, Marco? How's it going? We're getting just at the end, though. <laughs> oh my god, this is the first time that I ever had the opportunity to be in a live session with you, Marco. Thank you for your tutorial. You are my hero. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Or woman, I don't know. But your thing says Mr. So, eh, detective skills. So yeah, here the white of the eye really doesn't seem like that intense, but uh, in the render it, it does like it's... So we're gonna have to reduce it. Though the eye part here looks kind of... I could like almost boost... Anyways. Let's try this. Um, do, 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 do. I don't even remember what the thing does. Oh, wait, I'm not in the eye. Wait, where's the eye? That's the eye. Okay.
What's the roughness? Greener. Oh yeah, that's like the, the greener uh, area around the eye. Oh my god, it's buffering. Uh, come on, buffer. Do it. Buffer so that we're done with it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You're almost there. Oh my god. I think it's the thing I hate the most in the world. There we go. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, dark around the eye. Yeah, that was necessary. That's the sharpen thing. That was a sharpened thing. Yeah, okay, so that's the entire like eye material that's under. So this part here, um, yeah, we're gonna have to make it. Okay, well, actually, 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 actually. You know what, I'm just, okay. Duplicate layer, act only for color. You, I'm gonna put you much darker. It's like making it really contrasty also. Anyways, we're gonna try like this. Uh, I'm gonna add a mask on you. Actually, a uh, white and paint and I'm going to remove or I don't want you to be like this there we go hey thanks for the sub that's cool much appreciate it's going to make the black of the eye even blacker which I don't really mind wait was I in symmetry no, it was not in symmetry. Well, F me. Okay, perfect. So I got it darker here. I know what I'm actually going to boost the eye color here like this okay let's try that export just the skin part uh same value as usual export all right arnold flush cache flush textures so technically what i want now is i want to have the um wait test So it should it should it should give the white of the eye less white and the pupil the iris brighter white. Oh, it's still, geez, it's still uh really a powerful. Uh, But uh, for the inside of the eye, that's pretty cool how it actually made it lighter. So that was the 137. I'll check for boosting the eye color inside even more. 137. All right. Let's give it another shot. So for you. For you, I'm going to put you even darker. And also, also, 
let's add filter, just a color, H, eh, there we go. Let's change the hue for like a bluer. It's more like green. Let's really get blue. No. Oops. But that means I'm going to get rid of the... Uh... All right, um, yeah, let's export this. Flash the textures again, uh, flush the textures again. Oh my God, it's still like, Still pretty intense, huh? At some at some point, I mean, it's like okay, one last shot, but like after that, I'm stopping because uh, I don't know. Here, it looks it looks good. Why is it so? It's starting to get ridiculous. Huh? Arnold, flush cash. Yeah, that's the base color is too white. That's what uh, I'm I'm fixing. It's just it's like it's getting really dark in in uh, substance. So the, the, like the difference in between my result of like painter and substance, you see, it's like, now it's like, okay, but it required me to like, really put it like dark to get that, which is kind of like annoying. Um, okay. Let's, um, bring everything back. I'm going to render just a little bit more from afar. Uh, let's render with two of uh, quality. And uh, we're going to end the stream by doing a full on render. Yeah, it really does help the eyes to have the refraction. I, eh? I'm actually, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that we've done that step. Plus, this character has like so many big eyes. Like, it's really a point of attraction. So it was really good that we did that. In the end, though, very good. Okay, actually, before we do the last render, I just want to do a close up of the eyes. Like big, like this. This I actually full disclosure. This is gonna be for the thumbnail. <laughs> um, let's get some, at least six, of quality in there. It's gonna take a little while to render, but well, not that much. In the meantime, I'll close all of the tutorials I opened throughout the session.
I like his little nose. There's a lot of cute things about the the cat. All right, that's done. That's a good little picture. Very nice. So that been done. Now let's get back to the. Um, which one was it? Was it camera three? Huh. I guess maybe it was physical camera. The one that I used for the render last time. Well, you know what, let's just do a test real quick, see if it's the right frame. Uh, custom, let's get back to the size it was before. This is basically like the test so that we get to, so that we know um, the s actual size and quality for our turnaround. Oh, I can already tell the eyes, it's uh, it's helping. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, call it the uh, one. Let's confirm. No, this is not the same angle.
that's probably going to be it. Huh? Didn't didn't save it. Okay, now I got it. This is a good one. Yeah, okay. So this is the exact angle. So this is our actual final render. Okay, so let's put it to nine. I might finish the stream before it ends, but like it might take like 20 minutes to render like I'm not sure no, we'll see um, like when I render stuff usually I don't have like a stream I don't have a lot of things so like my rendering time is now bigger because of all of that no? just natural uh, save this oh I actually did not save my uh, my substance scene Okay, are we done saving substance? No, not done yet. This one I'm gonna leave it. You see how like the skin and the eyes had a really like a different effect in um, in uh, Arnold. That was uh, uh, really something noticeable. Plus, also like um, I'm realizing now with that technique. Well, now not now, but like now confirms another point is that uh, often you need to have your grime and weathering like much higher in substance for it to show in. Um, in um in Arnold so um yeah this is why like I said I always do like a first pass I check how it does and I always come back to boost a few things with my texture if I really want to get like the effect I want anyways let's start this uh render here I did save that scene right I did, I did save it 1052 yeah okay so let's just like render this this is going to be for all the marbles Also, uh, this time I'm going to note how much uh, time it takes me to do like a render of a frame. Well, now I see that wouldn't be accurate because like since I'm doing the stream, I, mean, I don't have like the full speed. Seems to be going relatively well.
Yeah, the back and forth is almost mandatory you know, for sure. Um, especially, yeah. I mean, once you got your lighting and everything, it dicta it dictates so much. Um, if you're doing like a one scene and like a specific lighting, you kind of you have to like check with that lighting how it, it reacts. I mean, even like if you have like m different lightings, well, that's even worse. When you, when you have different lighting, you need to check like every different um, every different uh, um, every different types of lighting and try to get like the best of of every world. Let's say. So um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna let it run like this because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this running for the entire uh, the rest of the stream. It's kind of like a, it's a bit boring. Eventually, you'll see the image anyway. But my goal is just to get like I'm basically just making another uh, render test to see like now with the eye uh, quality like how much better it is. So anyways, so I'll just let, let it run like this and uh, we'll just raid someone and uh, and uh, end that stream. So um, yeah, let's uh, raid, the, raid this one. Oops. Anyways, yep. Um, look, uh, that was another, uh, that was another good one. Uh, I actually learned <laughs> a few things during this one, or relearned, or I don't know how you, how you want to call it. So technically, um, next, like my scene is ready to be, uh, like the turntable is ready, um, and uh, next uh, time it's just a question of like choosing a few like angles that look good, uh, preparing the batch render, and then like we'll be done. We'll have our our uh, our things ready to be uh, rendered again. So, yeah, that's some good stuff. Um, so, thanks for joining, everyone, and uh, I'll see you very soon. Take care. All right, ciao.